The New Year bells have rung already, and it's expected for every investor to tighten the laces of their shoes, setting their plans for this year. Much has been said about 2024 by crypto experts and analysts. However, what happens in the first quarter will greatly determine how the rest of the year will flow. This is what we want to know. The Real Vision CEO, Raul Powell, had previously talked about this year, especially the second quarter. According to him, the next crypto bull market is likely to kick off in that period since the Bitcoin halving is set to take place. He is convinced that despite the hype surrounding the halving, macro factors will play the leading role in sparking the next uptrend. To support his claim, he explained that Bitcoin halving cycle coincides with the macro cycle, which means that every halving so far has taken place in a similar macroeconomic environment, which involves monetary expansion and low interest rates. Macro is the dominant factor, and the halving is a false narrative. But it doesn't matter, because it still works, Powell said in an interview. He also mentioned that among the main catalysts favoring crypto in 2024 are central banks cutting interest rates and potential fiscal stimulus that could precede the United States presidential election. Regarding price targets, Powell avoided making predictions given that you get beat over the head by people for not getting them right. However, he does believe that by looking at past performance, Bitcoin could double or triple its latest all-time highs. We are all still curious to know what's going to happen in the first quarter, though. In an interview in October of 2023, Raul Powell opened up about the state of the cryptocurrency market. He spoke about the intricacies of the current global economy, which has been experiencing a slowdown. He pointed out that this slowdown is expected for the current and upcoming quarters. Also, in another interview, the macro expert highlighted that 2022 witnessed a correction, the crypto markets plummeting by as much as 80%. He believes that this fact has been largely forgotten by many. Well, that may not be true. We are still living in the pains of that year to this day. Regardless of what happened in that year, Powell is optimistic about the future. He said that the financial markets are forward-looking, signaling a positive outlook. The indicators suggest that economic growth will come back while inflation continues to decline. Although unemployment may increase slightly, this scenario resembles a Goldilocks scenario, with the economic growth returning without significant inflation. Furthermore, Powell attributed the strength of crypto markets and assets like the Nasdaq in 2023 to these forward-looking indicators. He expressed his optimism referring to the current state of the crypto market as crypto spring and forecasting a transition to crypto summer, possibly in the first quarter of 2024. When asked to define crypto spring, Powell likened it to a season of unpredictable weather with periods of ups and downs. However, he emphasized that the market tends to trend upward over time. Despite occasional sideways trading and corrections, he highlighted gains in major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana throughout the year. The expert said, Crypto spring comes after winter, and it's after all the terrible news comes out. In terms of weather, one day it can snow, then it can rain, then it can be sunny, then it can be warm, then it can be cold again. It's kind of a weird time, but over spring, generally the weather gets better, and that's what we'll see in crypto. Most recently, Raul Powell weighted the incessant predictions going on in the digital currency ecosystem, labeling most long-term projections as unlikely to see the light of day. Taken to his official X account, Raul Powell says that he believes that there is greater than a 20% chance that this cycle in crypto and exponential age tech is everything, everywhere, all at once adoption cycle. He assumes that the crypto market will see massive institutional inflows by the end of 2030. This prediction was hinged on the possibility of a Bitcoin spot ETF getting approved this year. While Raul Powell is a major predictor of trends as concerns of the market, he is optimistic that all forecasting beyond the year 2030 will go out the window. Since the digital currency ecosystem is evolving at a very fast pace, with intense volatility across the board, Raul Powell that it becomes near impossible to forecast economies, societies, and markets beyond 2030. He posits that should the current estimation of growth be achieved as projected, we might hit the exponential in everything and everything changes forever in ways we can't yet grasp. Recently, Powell told subscribers of his YouTube channel that Ethereum will massively outperform Bitcoin, just like how lower-rated junk bonds tend to surpass the higher-rated treasuries when investors rotate their capital. But for a long time now, he's been bullish about Solana. According to Powell, the potential approval of a spot Bitcoin exchange-traded fund will positively impact Ethereum as he expect market participants to reinvest their Bitcoin gains in Ethereum. He said, So Ethereum is just doing what it's supposed to be doing, but it's not giving us a big surprise. I think the surprise comes the moment the ETF is out in Bitcoin and people will focus on the Ethereum ETF and it will bring the Ethereal ecosystem alive. This year, it's been the story of Solana, which I've been long all year, and Bitcoin. That barbell has been the best trade in the world. Or in fact, just saying Sol has been the best trade in the world, bar none. But Ethereum, it will play catch-up, and it will do well. 
Talking about Bitcoin, Powell explained that the flagship crypto asset price action is likely to mirror its 2015 bull market price action when Bitcoin witnessed a massive burst to the upside without a major correction. According to him, I think the cycle we're in now looks more like 2015, 2016, 2017 than it did 2019 through 2021. In 2019, Bitcoin came out the gate fast, then corrected. Then we had COVID-19, which we are not going to repeat. I know many people are going to expect, oh, we're going to get a 50% collapse and you'll buy that one. It's not going to happen. Of course, you'll get corrections, and I think most are likely more sideways, give or take 20 or 30% range, because that's the world we live in in crypto. But we should keep going into the end of 2025, and if we're just repeating the same old cycle, which I think we are. From all indications, the economy this year is on track to be described with a word that has not been used for a long time. Normal. We've been in pain for almost three years now, and it's time to enjoy the gains of a bull year. This extraordinary stresses of the pandemic, inflation war, and the onset of tight money over the last four years have created the sense of an unmoored economy. But there is a good reason to think that this year will give way to something less chaotic. This forecast of a normal economy is not some kind of fictional expectation. It sounds like the answer you get when you ask all kinds of decision makers what they think is most likely. You're seeing so many of the indicators coming back to normal, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said at the press conference last month, but he did caveat that not all of them. From an honest perspective, normalcy would have been a radically different experience from the rest of the 2020s. Do you know how the previous years have been? The pandemic started in March of 2020, unleashing mass unemployment, closure of major industries, and trillions in government stimulus efforts. In 2021, inflation soared amid a bumpy reopening. In 2022, Russia's invasion of Ukraine disrupted global commodity markets, and inflation peaked as global central banks began their most aggressive campaign of interest rate hikes in the full four decades. In 2023, the economy experienced the pain ignited by those events, with high interest rates causing everything from bank failures to tech industry layoffs to a dysfunctional housing market. The truth is that many disruptions set in motion by the pandemic just took time to heal. Companies have reworked their supply chains, and the supply of labor has risen as more Americans choose to work and immigration rebounded from pandemic lows. With inflation on the way down, Fed officials now anticipate cutting interest rates three times in this year. Financial markets think that there will be even bigger moves, and this is just simply wow. If the last four years have taught us anything, it's about the world's unpredictability. Now, another prediction from Powell explains that the bull market cycle could last for years and cause Bitcoin to soar to a high of $1 million by 2025. He said, here's the chart, the long-term chart of Bitcoin since 2013. Some people use this chart longer term. I used to, but the early cycle was kind of ridiculous so that screws up the chart. Other than that, it's a perfect logarithmic trend. And as you know, we think that the business cycle peaks sometime at the end of 2025. And that would suggest a crazy sort of target that could get somewhere between half a million and a million dollars in Bitcoin. Do I expect that? Probably not. But who the hell knows, right? For investors who stayed through the rigors of the past four years, it's time to enjoy the rewards. This year, 2024, will be a big year. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons and we'll see you in the next video.